Hello, and welcome to a brand new card making video. This is Julia, and I'm so happy you're here today. In this video, I want to share with you how I made this Father's Day card for my dad. I actually call my dad Papa, so I made him a Papa Day card. And I used stamps and dies and from Lawn Fawn to create it. And I also have some awesome news to share with you. I was recently able to join the design team for a local craft shop here in Germany. It's called Moni's Bastelkiste, and I will link to her shop down below. She ships worldwide and has a great selection for any crafty items you could need. And she also has an amazing brick and mortar store you can visit near Hamburg. So without further ado, I will leave all the links down below and let's get started with the card. First, I stamped all of my images from Car Critters uh, for the car as well as the little bears. Lighthouse from and boat from Smooth Sailing and I think the clouds as well. And then the trees are from Yeti or Not. I'm using my Copic markers to color in all of the images and I'm like adding a little overlay on the left side of the screen just so you can see all of the marker colors as I use them. I stamped all of the images onto Transotype Perfect Coloring Paper with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And originally I planned to make a reveal wheel card, but the placement just wasn't working for what I wanted to do, so I just omitted the, the wheel part and just made it a regular plain scene card. And for this one I was actually inspired by the Lawn Fawn design team member Megan, or Megan, I'm not sure. Um, she's incredible and a few... I think it was last year or the year before she started doing these amazing Polaroid style cards where you have an A2 sized card but you use a four a four inch square I think it's a four inch square on top of an A2 sized card base so you add your little scene or your elements of the card to the square and then you add the sentiment with like alphabet dies on the bottom or on the top and those look just so amazing so I had to try for myself. I will link to Megan's Instagram down below, she's incredible. And yeah, I had lots of fun trying out this new style and I really love that it. You ha I could add a few layers of cardstock. So you have like the base layer then the like wood grain panel I will put in the back and I really thought it added a lot to the card so it was really fun. So for the coloring I will uh, leave you with a little bit of music while I color and I'll be back soon.
right, now that the coloring is done, I'm using a white jelly roll pen to add little details to the images and the letters, just to make them a little bit more, I don't know, alive. <laughs> I just really like the little oomph the white gel pen adds to all my images. I also off camera die cut all the pieces for my like basic layout of the card. I die cut the wood grain panel with the outside inch stitched rectangle stackables. And for my little square Polaroid piece, I use the largest of the small stitched rectangles. I don't really have any stitched square dies that would fit that size. So I just use the rectangles and I cut them down to four inches. Then I die cut one piece using the simple stitched hillside borders. And I'm using that to create my little road. I'm using tea dye and vintage photo distress oxide ink to create like a little dirt road with some splatters as well. And I let that dry off to the side. Then I use the simple wavy borders with peacock ink and mermaid from Lawn Fawn to create my ocean for the background. And this is how it will layer up. I just made sure that the like road part was all the way dry before I kept going. So I just ink blended the rest while that was drying. I'm using salty ocean for my cloudy sky in the background. Just using the cloudy, I think it's cloudy stencil from Lanthal. And I'm also adding some splatters with a salty ocean just to give it a little bit more interest. And then I set that off to dry as well. And now I can keep working on the grass part that's beside the road. I'm using post-it note tape to mask off the edges, just like I did before, just the other way around. And then I'm using celery stick ink from Lawn Fawn to add a little bit of color to the side. I wanted to keep it fairly light, not like too bright green. And for a little bit more interest, I added some splatters with Noble Fur. Just adding a little bit of water to using my paintbrush for some splatters. And it's already time to assemble. I'm just using liquid glue to add the little waves to the background. I made sure to map out the scene a little bit before so that I knew where I would place the car and the height I needed to make sure the boat is still visible in the background. Then I'm adding my little car critters. I just trimmed down the wheel I stepped them on initially and I just glued that to the back of the car. Then I'm just trying to figure out where I want to place the cute little clouds. I really like adding those even though I already have the cloud, the like ink blended clouds. I think it just adds a little bit extra to the scene. And also trying to figure out where I wanted to place all of the trees. I wanted the card to be matted in the same color red that I used to color the images. And I didn't have a shade of cardstock that matched. So I basically just colored the edge of the cardstock with the R24 Copic marker. And that fit perfectly. Then I'm adding the stitched wood grain panel. And I just used the dark, the mid brown wood grain. I don't think those available those are available anymore. They were like the neutrals wood grain pack. Um, but I just ink blended it with a little bit of the darker brown I used for the road, just to give it a little extra oomph. I added some foam squares to the back of the uh, Papa letters, just so that those stand up nicely. I I actually experimented with this because usually I just die cut the letters out a second time from Fun Foam, but I wanted to try if I can just use like foam strips. It was such a pain. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever do that again. Fun Foam is just so much easier. Just adding all of the trees. I'm adding the car since that is in the foreground with some foam squares. And then I realized I forgot my lighthouse, so I just peeled up the, the edge of the hill 
a little bit and added that in. Sentiment, I'm heat embossing. Have a happy day from Little Bundle and Terrific Day. The have a and day is from Terrific Day and the happy I just used from a Happy Shower from Little Bundle. I'm just lining those up and the day I wanted uh, in like below the papa as well so I didn't need to line that up. I just masked, uh, I just basically used the edge of the ink pad to avoid the word shower. If it stamped it wouldn't have been a big deal. I'm trimming the uh, sentiment strip down anyways. So I just stamped the heavy ha have a happy and the day. The embossing powder I'm using is the Opaque Bright White from WOW in the super fine version. And I also used an anti-static powder tool to make sure that the powder wouldn't stick. I actually adhered the letters and then I realized it was just too plain at the bottom. So I just used the grassy border dye and I implanted that with the same colors I used for the like grass part on the top panel. And now I'm adding the letters over top and I'm liking that much better. That also meant I had to recut some of the little foam strips, which was another pain. <laughs> but you know, next time I'll use the fun foam again. Just playing around with the sentiment with the placement of the day uh, little strip. And then I just added my favorite Stardust stickles to the clouds, the headlights, and the little window in the lighthouse just for some extra sparkle. And I had so much fun making this, even though my reveal wheel original plan didn't work out. I will try to work that out, but I was in a bit of a time crunch, so this had to do. Have you ever tried this Polaroid style card before? I absolutely love it and I can't wait to use it on another card in the future. I had lots of fun making this card and I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope I'll see you again next time. I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel for more crafty videos. And until then, have an amazing day. Bye!